Hello everybody, in this video I want to show how to calculate the probability of n, oh sorry, of the intersection of n dependent events. And what I'll do, I'll do um, intersection of three dependent events and then show how that uh, can be written more generally for n dependent events. Okay, so what, what I want you to imagine is that we are going to have ten little balls. And you could pretend that these are either like numbered or that they're, you know, each one has a different color or something. But in any case, like Let's define an event that is the union of getting any one of these balls here. So, like, let's say this was ball 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The probability of getting a 1, or a 2, or a 3, or a 4, or a 5, or a 6 is the probability of event A. Okay, so we have something like this. Uh, likewise, I'm going to define another event, B, which would be grabbing one of these balls, and in event C, which is grabbing one of those balls. So you might want to ask, and this is what we're going to be calculating, what is the probability of the intersection of A, B, and C? Okay, well looking at our picture, the answer is obvious. It's the two ball, there are two balls that are common to all of the events. So the answer is going to be two out of the ten or a fifth. Or 0.2 if you like decimals. Okay, but how can we get at this using the definition of probability of intersection of dependent events? Well, we've shown in, a, in another video that this type of thing holds, which is probability of A intersect B being equal to the probability of A given B times the probability of B and since and since intersection is symmetrical this could have just this could have been probability of b given a times the probability of a okay so to apply that to this situation here all we do is we chunk b intersect c into one event so we would say that this is equal to the probability of a intersect the event B intersect C. Okay, fair enough. And now we're in a position to apply our definition. Uh, we can say that this is equal to the probability of A given B intersect C times the probability of B intersect C. Okay, fair enough. And then all we do is we apply the definition again to this piece, and we can write that this is equal to the probability of A given B intersect C times the probability of B given C times the probability of C. Okay, and now we can go fetch these pieces and see what they are, and hopefully when they multiply, they equal the result that we got before. Okay, the probability of A given B intersect C. Okay, well, if we're in the intersection of B and C, that means we're in these three points right here. Now, of those three points, two of them are in A. So the probability of A, given that you're in the intersection of B and C, is two-thirds. 
the probability of B given C. So we've landed in C, where there's one, two, three, four, five points. And of them, three are in B. So the probability of B given C would be three out of five. And then what's the total probability of C? Well, one, two, three, four, five out of the 10 balls. Okay, and let's see what we get here. Our threes cancel, this is good. Our fives cancel, this is good. And what we're left with is two tenths or a fifth or 0.2, which is what we wanted. Okay, great. Now what about for n events? So now our question is, what is the probability of, and we're just going to, rather than doing the letter, the letters A, B, C, we're just going to call it A1 intersect A2 intersect all the way up to intersect AN. Well, we use exactly the same the same sort of thing, sort of reasoning. We're going to call this one event. So we could say that this is equal to the probability then of a one, given a two intersect dot 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 intersect a n times the probability of a two intersect dot 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 intersect a n. Okay, and then we would simply apply this again. We would replace this piece with probability a two given a three intersect dot 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 up to intersect a n times the probability of a three intersect dot 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 intersect a n. And we would just keep breaking this thing down until we get So we're going to do like in ellipses for repeated multiplication, dot, 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 up to the probability of a n minus 1 given a n times the probability of a n. And that's really our answer. The, the thing just to do would be to write this a bit more concisely. So we're going to say that this thing is equal to the probability. Sorry, this is going to be a bit tedious. I apologize. A1 given A2 intersect, intersect AN dot, 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 up to the probability of a n minus 1 given a n times the probability of a n. So this is, this is an example of, of a formula that looks sort of complicated and daunting and it, it may be to some, but at, at the end of the day, all you're doing is using the definition of intersection of uh, two dependent events. You're just using it over and over again to create um, to create this this structure, which is the general solution or like the general formula that you would use to compute um, the probability of the intersection of n dependent events. Thank you.